tried to kill myself. Now, <laughs> spoiler alert, unsuccessful. <laughs> tried to kill myself a few times over the years. Uh, there was a time I tried to down an entire bottle of Jack Daniels and five packets of paracetamol. Uh, unfortunately, that didn't work. I'm not cool enough to down a bottle of Jack Daniels. I threw the whole thing straight back up, <laughs> which is awful. Gave me a massive headache, which is horrible, because I'd just thrown up all of the paracetamol. <laughs> I tried to drop a toaster in the bath. I'm not sure if you're aware, but you cannot plug a toaster in in a British bathroom. <laughs> you can in America, land of the free. <laughs> you might be thinking, well, maybe you could have used an extension lead. You're right, I could have used an extension lead. My extension lead, though, was plugged into my computer, and my computer was downloading Game of Thrones. <laughs> now, tried to blow myself in front of a train. When that didn't work, I tried to blow myself in front of a replacement bus service. <laughs> <laughs> Missed. <laughs> People will miss, they're clumps. <laughs> On this occasion, I tried to blow myself out of a full story window. Right? I was living in an attic room, literally a madman in an attic. I tried to blow myself through this uh, six inch window, only opened so far. And I thought I could do this, right? I could manage it. I squeezed myself through, got about halfway, the window latch got stuck in my belly button. <laughs> and I became wedged with my legs dangling in the room like Winnie the Pooh in a rabbit hole. <laughs> which point my housemate walked in. Now, what should have been going through my mind was like uh, my life flashing before my eyes, severity of the incident, my feelings. Unfortunately, what was going through my mind was, fuck me, I am never going to live this down. 